Thank you. Uh, I thought just before we uh, took quest to express uh, my pride in our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines. Yes, virtually everybody in the region said that. Exactly. Said, 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 what? said what? No, mm -hmm. no more pinpricks that, uh, that if, uh, if uh, Saddam is, uh, attacks our U-2, for example, or there's a requirement to respond, that uh, we ought to do it in a serious way. I was just messing with boots on the ground. Well, obviously, since the, uh, the Gulf War, he's, uh, his forces have been greatly reduced. But at the same time, they've been remarkably streamlined. Probably half the uh, ground forces, but he's consolidated them. His training has continued. Uh, he obviously maintains uh, an air force that uh, still is capable uh, and uh, an air defense system that's pretty robust. Uh, biological chemical weapons, uh, we don't know. Uh, obviously, I think that's been covered in great detail as to what the potential is out there and that uh, evidently there must be something he's hiding. Uh, that concerns us greatly. Uh, on U.S. forces in the, in the area. <clears throat> no, if, if military... I policy. spent seven months in northern Iraq. I went into the Kurdish villages that were gassed. I went into villages where no stone stood upon stone, and the villagers told me that five times the villages were destroyed. We still detected traces of the chemicals in those areas and couldn't let the Kurds go back into those villages. He used it in the Iran-Iraq war, He's used it against the Marsh Arabs, so he's used it against brother Arabs, he's used it against brother Muslims. Uh, you know, if any indication of he, that, that he has it, it's clear that he would use it. 